The spooky holiday called Halloween is just around the corner. To celebrate, locals attend the Kern Fall Family Festival at Kern Middle School. Locals gather at Kern Middle School to participate in the Kern Fall Family Festival. The Halloween themed event offers stations with a variety of games. While playing these games, the middle schoolers dress up in fun outfits. With the leadership group helping with the event, Deborah Mansker says it was a good experience and a good way to have fun. We definitely had more people here than we had last year, so um, we think our attendance was up. Um, most importantly, it's a service for our families here at Kern. Before the event ended, kids lined up in the auditorium to have a costume contest. Judges would pick out what they thought was the most outstanding outfit. For more information on upcoming events and or the school, visit cb-schools.org. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's a time to recognize and support the brave people fighting the deadly disease. One local is struck with cancer. So people gather at Bayless Park to support Leah Hamilton in her fight with breast cancer. Friday, October 13th. Locals gather at Bayless Park to participate in an event called Laps for Leah. The event is to bring awareness for breast cancer and to support Leah Hamilton as she has the unfortunate disease. To start the night, a balloon release takes place for her honor. Hamilton feels this is not only important for her, but everyone on hand. You know, I think it's great to see an event like this and see all the support that people put towards different groups and, and friends and family and, and yep, absolutely. To cap off the night, the attendees walk four laps around Bayless Park to show a message of unity. To support others that are suffering from breast cancer, make sure to wear pink for the remainder of the month. Domestic violence and sexual abuse is something that happens every day around the world. To help raise awareness, a candlelight vigil is held at Bayless Park. IWTV student DJ Mater covers the story. chance to pay respects or share your tale, the Catholic Charities Domestic Violence and Sexual Abuse Program hosts a candlelight vigil at Bayless Park from 6 to 7 p.m. Katie Choquette, Domestic Abuse Coordinator for the program, believes public activities like this work. Uh, so I think an event like this is really important because um, it does bring awareness to domestic violence, um, which is an issue that's really difficult to talk about and it's hard to um, you know, sometimes realize that it does happen in our communities. The vigil is held to remember those who are lost and to raise awareness to the fact that domestic violence troubles people from all walks of life. The event includes a display of their clothesline project as well as guest speakers. These speakers share their experiences and the mayor of Council Bluffs attended as well, declaring October Domestic Violence Awareness Month. With your Council Bluffs News, I'm DJ Mater. Still to come on Council Bluffs News, a look into the mayoral race. See what the locals are doing to cast their votes on the important day. And meet the new man in town. See how Iowa Weston welcomes new president and CEO of the Council Bluffs Area Chamber of Commerce, Dan Koenig. And I sit down with Terry Gatchmills from Midlands Humane Society to discuss their upcoming event. 